Yeah, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something a little different. So I'm starting off with the first episode of Tool Review. So today we have the Mormon Liquidator 3.0 Complete Squeegee. So this is the 3.0 Liquidator channel with the plastic end clips and the NXTR rubber. And it comes with the 2.0 handle. So it's pretty cool. So I like the squeegee so far because again, I, this is my first one that has um, an angle to the head. So this one has negative 20, negative five, 10, 25, and 40. So 40, as you can see, it's pretty dramatic. And then that's 25, that's 10, And then that's 20, negative 20. So, this one also swivels. So, if you unlock it, the head will swivel freely. I don't think you can lock it in a position, it can only lock in the middle, but it will freely swivel. But it does stay like it. You have to put some force to try to make the head move. So it will stay at least wherever you put it. And then, like I said, it this opens to add the channel to it. You open this, or you first you gotta lock it. Lock it. There's buttons down here. And then you wanna open it. Boom. And then I kept this barcode thing on here just because that's where the middle is to me. It does have these notches does have the notches so you'll know where the middle is I'm just too lazy to take off this um, so yeah so all you gotta do is slide is pop this bad boy in let's see if I could do this with one hand so I'm gonna try there you go so yeah just slides in so this is the 14 inch um channel so like i said just pop it in the middle lock it in and you're good to go like i said it swivels and just lock it back up so so far i have pure unger tools and what i've just what i've know what i luckily this one does have two holes so i'm assuming this one is for the mormon pole but this one it also fits the under pole. So the under pole's over there. Um, it's good because I do a lot of commercial work. I did just win the trad pole from the window cleaning resource. So if you haven't signed up, I have a link down below for you to sign up. Uh, they do giveaways pretty much every day on their pro group, which is free to join Monday through Thursday. They do giveaways. All you gotta do is comment and like the picture. And then the next day they'll choose the winner. And they'll just send you a message that you won. I can personally attest that I have won the giveaway before. I won some scraper tool, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, sign up. If you want to buy this one, I do have a link down below. They are affiliate links. Only the window cleaning resources are affiliate links. Um, every other link that's down there that's not window cleaning resource is not an affiliate link. So just buy from wherever you want. Um, but like I said, this one does work with the Unger pole, telescopic pole, so which is great. So far, a lot of people don't like this um, this particular tool more in more because of the bra the channel. So you can change it up with the Ettore brass channel. Um, I'm probably gonna try. I'm gonna try to buy that one um, so we can see what it's like. Um, the plant, the handle to me has some texture to it like this blue feels rubberized so i like it i like the handle i like how it feels this is the degree i keep it at i keep it at 25 it helps out really good like i said with just closing out windows and stuff like that i don't use any other degree on here like the negatives and the 10 i just i don't use those this is my favorite tool for commercial work because again the swivel head helps out a lot especially like when i'm doing like really high windows and i'm using the pole it really helps out a lot so the thing that i noticed this one does i guess that's why it's called liquidator when you're doing straight pulls at least like left like this 
you're doing straight pulls horizontally, um, it will leak a lot of water from the bottom. So more than like my regular Unger tools. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure obviously you start from the top of the window to the bottom. That way you can eliminate that problem. Um, these end clips do help out with detailing. I don't really have to detail the windows too much. And then what else do I like about it? Um, yeah, I just, I, so far is my favorite tool. I am buying the Unger Ninja 30 degree um, squeegee because I'm replacing my 18 inch squeegee. So yeah, so I'm buying that one. Let's talk about some of the complaints that some people have. Most of the complaints is that this tool is hard to use. So that may be true, it may not be true. Sometimes it can, this tool does have a learning curve. So sometimes it's not the tool more so than it is the operator. So, you know, practice with it. This rubber does take some time to break in. So um, just be careful with this rubber because if you do squeegee like Let's say you're doing straight pulls and then let's say this half right here you cleaned or this piece. I only try to leave this part dry if I can. Um, but if you leave too much of the squeegee dry, it will hack the window, therefore leaving like a smudge. So make sure this thing is calm. it's always wet. Like the windows, you're always scraping or squeegeeing water, never dry. Um, the other thing is it's mostly that, and this one does leave a lot of lines, but that's only, it um, It does leave a lot of lines, but if you're doing, mostly when you're doing straight pulls, when I fan with this one, it doesn't leave lines. But when I straight pull, it will leave lines, but I I, tend, I dry the ends. So I don't dry the whole thing, but I just dry the, the two ends and they won't leave any lines. So that's the only way I've, I've seen to combat it. Um, I do have a, a bucket on the belt, but it's the Edoray Sidekick, but that one is for my scrubber and my 18 squeegee. This one goes on my tool belt. It has a hammer loop, and that's where I hang this one. Um, but yeah, so far, like I said, I've really enjoyed this one. It is kind of expensive. This complete setup is around $50. This, the rubber is also very expensive. This one uses its own uh, proprietary rubber. The reason I like the Unger one is because you don't necessarily need to buy the Unger like special rubber for you can use the black diamond which is what i use for my other squeegees i use black diamond um so i didn't i was hesitant to buy another one until i found out you can use different rubber on this one this one you can't because the channel it's especially designed for this rubber and if you, you could put other rubber but it, it'll be like a tight fit or it'll like i like to call it like it'll bacon up on the it won't stay straight it'll like like um, squiggle up. I like to call it bacon because it looks like bacon you know, when it curls up. So this rubber is, since this isn't my my primary squeegee, I'm okay with buying the ex the ex the rubber for it. It's not the most expensive, but it's it's up there. You know, it's on average I feel. So it's like 50 bucks or so, 60 bucks for a 12 pack. And, and like I said, it's not my my main one, so that should last me a year or close to almost a whole year since I won't. I'll try to keep, depending how busy I am, we'll, we'll see. But anyways, if you like this review, more reviews coming, sh check out the, the window cleaning resource. It's a fantastic um, company and it's even better community. So check them out. I have links down below if you want to sign up. Uh, again, they always do giveaways. They do giveaways every week. I mean, they, give, they do giveaways four days a week, Monday through Thursday. On their pro group all you gotta do is sign up and join the facebook pro group they do monthly giveaways for a traditional poll the zero poll and they do huge giveaways like they just did two this month one was like a water fed pole system that was worth five thousand dollars and then they just did one today where they gave away three water fed pole systems worth three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars three or two thousand dollars i don't remember all you have to do is order something off the website and you're automatically entered I didn't win this one. They just announced the winners, at least the states, but they didn't say California, so I didn't win. So better luck next time for my next order. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you like this style of videos, I will be dropping more reviews. I'll be dropping a review on the Zero Pull once that comes in, the Black Diamond um, rubber, and for those newbies out there for the Home Depot starter pack, 
I will drop a review on the, the scrubber and the 18 inch squeegee you can get at Home Depot and I will also be doing my Bob um, bucket on the belt review. Alright, so the next one. Peace.